Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. I'm going to be honest with you. It is my opinion that most amateur photographers, enthusiasts, hobbyists, however you want to word it, most of them are just as good, if not better, than most professional photographers. But I believe what sets many professionals apart is their ability to post-process their images. Um, specifically, professionals do a little bit more and take a little bit uh, more risks, maybe you could say. And one thing that I found that real successful professional photographers do, those that sell prints, and I'm not talking a print here or a print there. I'm talking about a significant portion of their income uh, comes from selling prints, is they relight the scene manually. They could use Photoshop, they could use Luminar, they could use On One Photo Raw, anything. Any of those applications, including Lightroom, will help you or allow you to relight the scene. So in the next uh, few videos, I'm going to concentrate on relighting scenes because there's different techniques involved and I don't want to jam it all into one video. So we're going to start out with this rather mundane image of this chipmunk. Um, execution wise, that's fine. Any photo enthusiast could take this image. It's well focused, depth of field's nice, everything's okay. Well, it's just an okay image. So we're going to relight it and make it a little bit more dramatic and put a little bit more emphasis on the subject, the chipmunk. Those are the two reasons you normally want to relight a scene. You want to put more emphasis on the subject and or you want to add a little drama. Now most often you're going to relight the scene with either a brush tool or a radial filter. And for this video on this chipmunk, we're going to use the radial filter. So I'm going to grab that. And what I want to do is I want to simulate um, kind of like compound the light that is already there. The light was over here to photographer's left, to my left when I shot this. And you can see that there's a shadow right in here of the chipmunk. So we're going to put the light source over here on the top left and have it kind of shine down on the chipmunk. So we're going to use the radio filter for that. We're going to increase the exposure and I'm just going to draw out like this. Now it's opposite of what I want. It's actually brightening up the outside of the image and I don't want that. I want it to brighten up the middle of my radial filter. So I'll go down here and click on invert. So now it's making the middle brighter. And what we're going to do is we're going to position it so it more effectively is lighting our chipmunk. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out. So I'm going to go over to the left panel and I'm going to go to 1 to 8. That'll give me just a little more room to manipulate the overlay of the uh, radio filter. So what I want to do is I want it brighter up in here. So I want to pull this end out. But if I just start pulling it out, it's going to pull the opposite end out equally. I want to pull this end out independently of this end. So to do that, hold the Alt or Option key and Alt if you have PC option if you have a Mac. And you'll just pull that end out just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep that alter option key held in and we're going to pull out over here and maybe just pull that just a little bit more that way as well. Now we'll go back to fit view uh, so we could see what we've done so far and we'll get rid of that left panel and we're going to brighten it up just a smidge more. All right. So, so far so good. Now what we're going to do is I want to uh, warm it up a touch. So I'm going to go to the hue slider and this is a new in Lightroom 9.3 and we're just going to kind of give it more of a yellow tinge uh, like that. So, so far so good. Now I'm going to add a second um, radial filter and I want to put it on the face of the chipmunk. But as you could see, because this radial filter is there and active, it won't allow me to do it. So what I need to do is temporarily hide this overlay and pin for that radio filter. And if you go down here, you can see that show edit pins, it's showing auto right now. I could use that drop down or I could just simply hit the H key, H for hide. And when I do that, I hide that. Now I'm going to draw the other one, but because the overlay is hidden, I won't really see the overlay as I'm drawing it, but we'll do it nonetheless. 
like that. Now I'll hit the H key again so we see the overlays. Okay, now it's still opposite of what I need, so I'm going to go back to invert like that, and we're going to rotate it around like this and get it over Mr. Chipmunk's face a little better. We're going to again uh, give that kind of that yellowish uh, tint a little bit like that. Maybe that's just a little bit too bright. So we'll bring it down just a little bit. So, so far, so good. We have these two radio filters. There's that first one we added, and there's the second one. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the basic tab, and we're going to take exposure, and we're going to bring it down. So now you can see how we've added drama to the scene, and we've showcased the subject a little more effectively using these radio filters. Now I'm going to go back to this radio filter, and I'm going to just kind of do something with that a little bit, warm it up, touch, maybe go up here as well. Warm it up. Don't like anything I'm doing so far. So we'll undo that. Yeah, not like that, I guess. I could fuss over that a lot. But what we'll do now is I'll go back. Uh, oops, I should go back to our first radio filter by clicking on the pin. And then I'm going to go and brighten that up even more. You can see how the light appears to be coming from the top left corner of the screen. And it looks natural because the shadow of the rodent is down here on the lower right hand side of his body on the ground. So that works out well just like that. And then we'll come into the basic tab again and maybe even bring that down a little more. And that's it. That's how we relit this scene. Now I'll turn off the radio filters. There's before, of course, and there's after, but of course we darkened it down quite a bit with the basic tab. So that's kind of relighting a scene 101 and I'll be doing uh, future videos we'll, we'll, where, where we'll be relighting different scenes with different tools that are in Lightroom. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.